Hey, Chandler Bolt here, CEO and founder of Self Publishing School. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to self-publish a book on Amazon. So over the last few years, I've written six books myself, and we've helped thousands of people through this process at Self Publishing School. And really what my goal is to take all the lessons that we've learned the hard way and condense them into this video into nine simple steps for how you can navigate the publishing process. Now, first things first, maybe you're trying to figure out what should I traditionally publish? Should I self publish? Obviously this video is going to be all about self publishing. We got a different video and I definitely recommend that you check that out on how to decide should you traditionally publish or should you self publish? Now, obviously you're here, you're self publishing and more specifically, you're self publishing on Amazon. So the first step in this process is gonna to be to set up your KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing account. So this is what's gonna allow you to publish your Kindle book. There's also kind of some other accounts that you can set up through this process uh, through KDP Print. So, you know, this used to be Create Space. So you see it set up a Create Space account, all those things, but now you can also do that inside your KDP account. So that's the first step is to create your Kindle Direct Publishing account. Step number two, once you've got your book written, obviously you probably have that written because um, you're at this point of publishing. Now, if you don't have your book written, uh, I definitely recommend that you check out, we've got a video that's very detailed on how to write a book. That'll help you with that, but you've got this done, so now you're ready to publish. So once you've got your book written, it's important that you come up with a title and subtitle. Now your title, this is very, very important. And the biggest mistake that I see people make is they go way too broad. So they don't get specific enough. The litmus test for me is does your target reader instantly know within two seconds what your book's about? If the answer to that question is no, then your title probably isn't good or specific enough. So this is super important. I'll give you a quick example. Publish the proven path from blank page to published author you instantly understand, hopefully, what this book's about, right? It's about how to get your book published, and it's the proven path from blank page, so there's pain there, but there's also a benefit statement. So those are the two things that I always try to touch on in my title and subtitle, is what's the pain that your person is experiencing right now, and then what's the benefit or solution that you have to that? Step number three, now that you've got a good title, and subtitle, it's important that you get a good cover. Now, I'm amazed at how many people will spend years writing their book and they'll spend five minutes and five dollars on their cover, right? Well, you know, you probably hear the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, right? Don't judge a book by its cover, but we all judge a book by its cover, so you need to have a good cover. Now, your cover needs to do three things. Number one, it needs to grab attention. So you notice the contrast here. You've got the red, it kind of jumps off the page. Number two, your title needs to be easy to read and it needs to be on the upper third of your cover. And then number three, again, I need to instantly understand what your book's about within two seconds. There's a saying, confused people don't buy. So if I don't get it, and if it doesn't pop out to me, then I'm not gonna click on your book or I'm not gonna pick up your book and buy it. Step number four, write a good book description. So whether it's the back of your book, if you're in physical bookstores, or it's the description on your Amazon page, this is super important. So we've got the cover and we've got the title, and the purpose of that is to get people to click into your Amazon listing. Now, I always say that people will stay on your Amazon page for five seconds and leave, or they'll stay on there for a minute and a half and buy. So the whole goal is once we get them onto your Amazon page, we wanna keep them there. So they see the cover, they see the title, they click into the page, and then the first thing that they see is the, your book description. Now, we've got a separate post on how to write a great book description. Definitely recommend that you check that out. But the most important thing is you need to hook and grab their attention from the start and then keep them reading and keep them intrigued about what the book's about. Step number five, choose the right keywords. So on the back end, when you're submitting or when you're self-publishing your book on Amazon, uh, Amazon's gonna give you a handful of keywords. So they're gonna give you seven keywords that you can use. So think about that as SEO for your book. So search engine optimization. Now, the really cool thing about Amazon is while everyone over here is focusing on Google, I always say that Google is a search engine of browsers, Amazon is a search engine of buyers. So there's 310 million plus people over here with their credit card on file, and they're on Amazon for one reason and one reason only, and that's to buy stuff, right? So this is way more competitive on Google, but the cool thing is on Amazon, if you target those same keywords, you've got a better chance of ranking with your book, but you gotta be strategic about picking the right keywords and making sure that you rank for things that people are actually searching for. Step number six, 
Choose the right categories. So inside the Amazon ecosystem, you've probably seen this, there's a bunch of different categories and it can go all the way down to these obscure things like underwater basket weaving or anything like that, but there's all these categories. So Amazon gives you the ability to pick two categories. So what we generally say is pick one that's maybe slightly competitive so you can check out the rankings of the top three to five books in that category. Uh, so, so pick one that's slightly competitive but that's super relevant and then pick one that's also relevant but easier to rank in. Now the important thing here is if you can stay number one in a category for as long as possible, that's gonna help with social proof so when people land on your book page, they see that it's a number one bestseller in at least one category. So that's gonna help you sell more books long-term. Now, one kind of bonus tip here is that you actually have the ability to get into as much as 10 categories on Amazon. You just have to ask for it. So we've got a separate blog post, and this is something that not a lot of people know on, uh, but you should definitely check out that blog post, is that you know they give you two categories, but then if you go through this process, you can request eight more. So this just increases the exposure for your book. So check out the blog post along with this video uh, and we'll walk you through exactly that process and this just helps you get more eyeballs on your book. Step number seven, uploading your manuscript. So this is a step in the process of actually uploading your book to KDP or to Kindle Direct Publishing and you're gonna upload your manuscript, you're gonna upload your cover, you're gonna upload things like that. Uh, but once you upload the book, that's gonna be one of the steps to help you publish. Step number eight, price your book to sell. So there's kind of a couple different options that you have. If you're going Kindle, you'll probably notice that you're gonna make more in royalties. So I think it's about 70% on royalties if you price your book between $2.99 and $9.99. And then you're gonna make a lower royalty if you price your book between 99 cents and $2.99. So I would recommend that you price your book between $2.99 and $9.99 for Kindle. And then if it's the print book, you're gonna to wanna to price your book. You know, obviously this is depending, or is this on the trim size? Uh, what's the size of your book? How, what's the word count? How many pages are you going black and white? All those things. So that's gonna kinda of determine the economics of how can you be profitable on a per book basis. But typically print books are priced between $10.99 on the very low end to $17.99. So you wanna make sure that you're pricing your book to sell. And one of the biggest things that I recommend here is you actually do some research on the books in your category and on books that are like yours so that you can make sure you price it to sell. And then also when you're going through this process, you can submit and sell your book internationally. So you wanna click those other countries and make sure that you're pricing it accordingly per country. Step number nine and the final step is the press publish. Now, this is simple, but also terrifying. If you've ever been there, you know that you've got everything uploaded, you know, you've got all the settings, you wanna make sure that your settings are right, and then you're just hovering over that publish button. And so it's time to actually press that publish button and launch. So you're gonna publish the book, but really you're gonna publish it when you're ready to launch. So make sure that you've got launch efforts lined up and that you've got a strategic process that you're following during launch week. Now we've got a separate video all about how to successfully launch a book. Definitely recommend that you check out that video because this is the point in that process where you don't press the publish button if you don't know what you're gonna do next, right? Because your book's gonna go live, so you're gonna waste time on hot new releases and stuff like that and you're gonna just kill the momentum of your book. So there you have it. Those are the nine steps on how to self-publish your book on Amazon. I hope that you found this video helpful. We've got two really helpful resources that are gonna help you with your next step. So number one, you can get a free copy of my book published. We're giving away copies of this book. All you have to do is cover shipping and handling. So you can click the link along with this video, grab a copy of this book, and then while you're waiting on that book to be shipped to you, um, check out step number two, and that's we got some free training. This is gonna be a 45 minute training that's gonna really gonna go into detail on how you can go from blank page to published author in as little as 90 days. So check out that training. I think you'll find it very helpful. It's gonna kind of go into further depth uh, on what I just talked about in this video. So click the link along with this video and you'll be able to register for that training. Now the last thing, super important, uh, comment below this video. Let me know what you thought. So anything I missed here, what was your biggest takeaway or maybe what was the part of this publishing process that if you've been through this before, which part tripped you up, right? Any recommendations for new authors, comment below, let me know. And then lastly, and maybe most importantly, click subscribe to the channel. So click the subscribe button along with this video. We got a lot of really helpful videos coming out. We wanna make sure that you don't miss one. And obviously I referenced some other videos in this video that'll be helpful in that process. When you subscribe to the channel, we'll make sure that you don't miss one. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.